morning, good afternoon, and or good night. Whenever you're finding the time to watch this video, thank you guys for coming, or thank you for coming back to my channel. Today, I wanted to just, um, or in this video, I am going to just do an updated flip through of my functional planning routine and how that's working for me. I do use two planners. Um, this is my Ballerina Lush from Foxy Fix. Um, this is a number five or a B6. And then I also use my Rowena Foxy Rings, which is my everyday carry, which goes with me in my purse and is always with me. So anyway, I will do them one at a time. Of course, I'm just going to put the Ballerina Lush to the side and first show you the, the rings. So I purchased my rings, um, I want to say August of last year. Um, this is a regular. It is not a wide. So I, I carry this in my purse wherever I go. I'm trying not to blind you guys with the plastic there. But um, sorry about that. And so this is what I refer to on an everyday basis. So just really quick so I don't blind you guys. Um, these are from Mud Pies and Pigtails. These are some really cute Valentine's Day clips. And then I keep over here just random stickers that I may use um, when I am setting up my planner for the week. And then this baby right here is a die cut from the Honey Bee Shop and I added this cute little bow and a friend of mine in the planner community made this for me with my name on it. Um, so I keep that in there and then I have these, this pocket I just used from Target. I'm trying to blind you guys. This is just a pocket from Target which I stuck on here um, and this is actually on some vellum um, from the planner planner attic box. So that's what I have there. I have all of this together by this paper clip from, uh, where is this from? Oh God, where is this from? I don't remember where this is from, but <laughs> um, it'll come to me. It'll come to me. So that's from there. This calendar here is from the planner attic box. Um, this insert is one of the dashboards from Foxy Fix, and then that's just a picture of me using my Polaroid zip. And then this die cut is from Sparkly Paper Company. So that's that. And then on the back here, I just have some die cuts cut out. Um, I don't remember this, this shop, but I do know this one is from the Planner Monkey Company. And then the paper inside is from a Michaels pack, which I need to change because it was the fall pack. Um, but this paper is for, also from the, um, the Planner Attic Box. That's what that is. This vellum uh, acetate is also from there. This bow page is from there. So the vellum has bows printed on it. I thought that was really cute. So I put that in there. This is also another pocket from the Target dollar spot. And there's a picture of my husband and I on our wedding day. And then because I love photography, um, that's what that is. And then it says, I love planners. This is from the Honey Bee Shop. I don't remember where this is from. I think it's, I don't remember this, where this is from. Um, but that's that. Then I have um, another picture from our wedding, Planner Monkey Company. This is also from Planner Monkey Company. I have some phone numbers and birthdays listed here, so that's personal information. I have a year out calendar this year and last year. This is where I keep track of any upcoming dates or any birthdays to remember on these boxes here. Um, just some random notes. This it was a freebie and simply me kisses um, group. This these are some planning tips. I, I received this in the planner attic box and I cut it out and kept it in there. This is from um, hmm I do not remember guys. I've had some of these die cuts for quite some time. I don't remember where they all are from. This one is from Whimsy Delight Company. Um, I made these two paper clips which are felt roses. And I just have them in there because it kind of goes with my colors that I use. This is my personal information there. And then, then we I keep like two to three months in my planner at a time. So, for example, that was last week. Uh, just random note page. This is my layout for this week. I don't have much going. Well, I, I try to keep my everyday carry kind of clean. Um, meaning I may not go too crazy with my stickers in my Ballerina Lush. I use more stickers, it seems to be. Um, like that's just my routine. So in here, because it's my everyday carry, I just jot down little things that I may need to remember to do while I'm on the go so that I don't forget them. Um, so this is just kind of like, you know, check off and stuff like that. Um, and then I, 
I've been I've been on a no spin, so I've just been shopping my stash. So I kind of color coordinated this with things that I already had in my stash. These stickers here are from the Planner Attic Box, which I had received. This is from um, where is this from? I think this is from Jameson Reed uh, sample sheet that I received, and this is from the Honey Bee Shop, another sampler sheet that I had received, and then this is from the Happy Planner, one of the sticker boxes. These tabs up here are from Ashley Designs. So that's where they are from, uh, and they say monthly um, goals, weekly. I have a monthly. I think I lost my. I lost one of them, or this in my purse. Um, and so I keep the inserts in here. These are just upcoming for the weeks to come, and. This, uh, I received this from Simply Me Kish. This is about a year old, and I still have it in there, which I'm happy about because I've been shopping my stash. Like I said, been just using what I have. Um, this is from Van Sticky. Uh, this came in Mommy Lay Designs, a little bit subscription box, which I had. Um, so I just keep some post it notes there. These are just more lists. I do have a filming schedule, which I try to keep myself accountable to. Sometimes I just randomly think of new videos or ideas that I may want to share with you guys. But I do have a filming schedule. This is from Sweet um, Sweet Kawaii Designs. I think it's her shop name. This is more paper from Planner Attic Box. These dividers are from the Foxy Fix. Um, and then this is just some notes that I may, you know, to-dos or running to-do lists that I keep in here. Um, and then I just have more die cuts. I actually found this one on Pinterest. This is from the Planner Monkey Company on Etsy. This is from Sparkly, Sparkly Company Designs. I think it's her shop name. I cannot remember. If I remember, I'll try to put all of them in the, um, although sometimes I forget when I'm editing to forget the shop, to put, to put the shop's names. I can't even talk. To put the shop's names in the description box. Um... Just more paper from Michael's uh, paper pad. This is from Sweet Sweet Deco Chic. I think it's the name of the group. And then this is a folder that I made. I keep stamps in here, mailing stamps. So that's what I have in there. I just made this with some paper. Picture of my husband and I. This is from the Honey Bee Shop. This was a freebie back here in the fall. I just absolutely love this this die cuts I keep it in there more paper from the planner attic box if you guys are not familiar I keep my cash because this is my everyday carry that I keep my cash envelopes in here and I have a video on these um I use cash envelopes it keeps me accountable to spending it keeps me disciplined so I literally just make an envelope for everything um that I pretty much kind of you know use on a bi-weekly basis and I use the cash that's in there. So literally I have cash in here, um, like for entertainment or groceries. And I just keep that in there versus always using my debit card. So that's what that is. Uh, my miscellaneous when I keep coupons, because I try to get coupons. Here, just more die cuts and pretty paper. This paper clip, I do not remember the shop. I've had this paper clip for quite some time now. Um, just a, a die cut I found on Pinterest. More pretty paper, more of the board, the headers there. I have some savings tracker sheets in here. I have debt repayment plans uh, sheets in here. I'm not really using these because I'm using my, um, I'm using my financial planner, my happy planner. So, you know, this is great if I'm like on the go doing something, but I'm not really focusing too much on these sheets. Um, I'm using my happy planner for that. I don't keep any passwords in here because I'm a little nervous about that. I do keep them in one of my bullet journals though. And that's pretty much it as far as what I keep in here. And then I just have extra notes in here. Um, note paper for things on the go that I need to jot down. And I have some more die cuts here. Um, this is Khaleesi, of course. This is from Fox and Pip. And this is also from the Honey Bee Shop. And then just some random, you know, you get sampler stickers, and I have so many from the different shops. So that's why when I say I'm shopping my stash, I am literally trying to just go through things that I have and use it up. And then back here, I just tend to keep uh, notes or things I've gotten in the mail from, from people. Um, and it also keeps my planner a little sturdy because the Rowena can be a little floppy. Um, and then I have my pretty pen, which matches all the bow paper from the planner attic box. So that is a an updated um, flip through of my Foxy Fix Rowena. Um, this is from Pigtails and Pockets. I think, no, 
yeah, pigtails and pockets. That's where this one is from. And these are from Mud Pies and Pigtails. So it's so confusing with their shop names, but they're so cute. So that is the updated uh, flip through of my Rowena. And I'm going to switch uh, planners here and show you guys the updated flip through of my Ballerina Lush. So sit tight. All right, guys. So here we go. I'm going to show you guys a quick flip through of my Ballerina Lush. This is the number five. This is a B6. Um... Yeah, I did do an unboxing of this, um, but I will go over like some of the details or the personalization of my planner. So this is a B6. It is a wide, meaning I have six strands on the inside. I am not currently using all of them functionally. Some of them just have some decorative stuff in there, but um, I, I got sage stitching across and cream elastic. Um, I also had it embossed with Mama Sweet, which was a nickname that my dad had for me. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it says Mama Sweet. And then I have a cat paw print on the side. So those are my personalizations that I had on here. Um, so that is that. And then on the inside here, I have a lot of cute stuff. So let's see here. This is another same die, die cut from before. Um, this is from um, Pigtails and Pockets. This, I received this snowflake. I don't remember from where, but I've had it from quite some time, so I just kept it in there. Um, I have a paper clip that says wild. I have a bow paper clip. I have a grocery shopping bag paper clip. This is from Mud Pies and Pigtails. So that goes there. This is also from Mud Pies and Pigtails. I absolutely love this one. It actually has a crown on the top. Um, so that is that. This isn't this is so cute and this matches my one of my my charms so the paper clip is here and then I have the charm which actually I also have a bow from I think her, her shop name is share show hair show hair beautiful I think it is um once again I will try to list those shops below and then this is a Valentine's Day clip from mud pies and pigtails it says love bug so that's that and then I just have some um, cardstock here and I actually have some yeah just cardstock there um, this bow came with this bow here um, I have my name personalized in a paper clip so that's that in the first uh, dashboard I have some die cuts from the honeybee shop this is from ride or die sticker shop that's where this is from here and then the paper behind there is just from Michaels um, that's a picture of my husband and I in our engagement photo shoot. Um, this was a freebie from Fox and Pip. I'm trying not to blind you guys. This is from Her Name is Savvy. This was a freebie. I think this was for one of the health awareness months. Um, she made, she designed this and so it was a freebie. I received this, um, in the mail. It says be beautiful. And so I just kept that in there on some acetate and taped it down with some gold tape. Um, I decide, I know MLK Day is gone and over with but I decided to keep this in here I love this dashboard this is from um, golden plants company the detail of it is just beautiful so I decided to keep that in there and then here I um I, I know she changed her shop name but this is from pink bow ties um this is the Lauren Hill Lauren Hill and then this is princess dye and I just cannot bring myself to use the stickers because I'm just absolutely in love with the detail so I just use them as just dashboards right now because they're just so cute. Um, this is from, I think this is from Ride or Die uh, Sticker Company. I love it. It says, get it girl, wake up, coffee, be bad and bougie and coffee. Um, so that's my thing. I love that. This um, acetate here is from Cricut, actually. I received that in the mail. This is from, I believe someone designed this in the Honey Bee Shop. So I just used and printed it off on some acetate at home. Now, this insert here, this actually is from Target. This is a $3 insert, um, which I just stuck in there. And it is housing, kind of like some bullet journaling. Not really, but kind of, sort of. I have my vision page in here, which I actually have a video posted on my vision page. So, I have that in there. I have some goals listed. I have... Um, just some writings that I've been doing. This one's called Protect Your Peace. Just some writings, just some things to remind myself of bucket lists and uh, goals and whys for certain things in my life. Um, and then birthdays to remember. Um, so that's what I'm using that for. 
Um, and then this is just blank pages, of course, which because I haven't filled it out. Um, and then here, um, trying not to blind you guys. I'm so sorry about that. Um, another dashboard, and I have the other side of the other copy of the um, uh, Martin Luther King dashboard in there. That's more vellum. This is a picture that my husband and I took. Well, I took. We were in uh, Los Cabos on our honeymoon, and these rocks were laying there, and we just spelled out my initial and his initial, and that's that. So I kept it in there. Um, these cuties, this is from the honeybee shop. This is from, um, I cannot remember. Oh, God, I'm so bad with names of shops. I cannot remember, but I know these are from Banana Doodles. I will try my best to link them below, guys. Um, this is from Banana Doodles as well. This is from Fox and Pip. I believe this is from Banana Doodles as well, the Etsy shop. This is from Her Name is Savvy. These are really cute. I love them. Um, and then this was a, a picture I found on Pinterest. This is from Fox and Pip. This is also from Fox and Pip, both of these. Uh, but this is from the Honey Bee Shop. And this is just a cute girl with some tattoos, and it's just adorable. Um, this was a freebie, and I don't remember the shop's name. Shame on me. Um, this is... Just some acetate from uh, Mommy Lay Designs. This is from one of the boxes. And then this, of course, is the same as that um, as, uh, vellum that I showed you guys before, but I just printed it on cardstock. And then this was a cutie that I, I received from Jameson Reed's shop. Um, it was just a travel die cut. I thought it was super cute. Her hair, the detail was just gorgeous. So that's that. And then this is my one insert that I have in here. And I use this as my weekly. So this is more like a creative journal for me. But I do use it um, with my weekly spreads. So this is my week here. I just have some things listed. Like I said, this is the one that really doesn't leave the home, the house. Um, so I try to keep everything in here, like cleaning and so forth, to remind my laundry. Um, and that's how this works out for me because this is just more home. And I do keep track of things that I have to do outside the home. But as you can see, I have my laundry basket when our garbage get picked up and um, appointments and so forth. So that's that. Um... This was, that's just the other side of that, acetate and so forth. Just some affirmations. I found this on Pinterest, so I stuck that in there. This is a picture on my wedding day of my brother walking me down the aisle. My father passed away, so my brother gave me away. Uh, this is a picture of our gorgeous wedding cake. Um, and you can kind of see the backdrop of where we sat in the, in the back there, but that was our wedding cake. Um, these are more stickers from the Pink Bow Ties shop. This one says, on Wednesday, we wear pink. This is, um, uh, I can't remember his name from, um, the show that's filmed in New Orleans. Maybe someone can list it below. I can't think. It's Oprah and, um, Oprah's the part director on it, too. It's a great show. I cannot remember the show's name. I'm so bad with names right now. Um, and then another cutie from Pink Bow Ties. Reminds me so much of my husband and I. That's my husband <laughs> on our honeymoon. He was happy to find towels. Um, that's us on our wedding day. That's also us on our wedding day. Just more acetate. And let's see here. This is from the Banana Doodle Shop. This is one of her new uh, babies, the Otter. So I had to have that. That was so cute. I actually made this dashboard. Um, and I actually have a video on like pimping your planner, create, being creative in your planner, using stuff you already have. Because this is from the Happy Planner. These are those um, picture inserts. And so I just taped it to another one and created a dashboard. This is from Mommy Lay Design. So is this paper clip. Um, and then on here, I had this in another planner. And so I know it's one in the front. But of course, I love this one. So I just kept it in there. Um, and then this was when the hurricanes hit. So this was from... Planner Monkey Company, and I just kept it in there because I had cut it out too big, and I thought it was so cute, and I just kept it. Um, this is actually the day or the night that my husband proposed. Engagement photo shoot. Us on our honeymoon. Us at our second engagement party because his family threw us one as well as my family. Just some post-it notes are in there. Uh, these are from Banana Doodle Shop. This is from the Hustle Sheet. I don't remember where this is from, actually. There's so many planner groups. I I swear I get I get confused when they send out freebies and stuff. So this was a freebie though. And this was us on our wedding day. I keep that picture in there. 
And then just some more cuties, Van Sticky. This came in a subscription box that I had. Um, this was us on our honeymoon, a picture that we kind of drew in the sand. And then I just have some more cuties, Fox and Pip. This is from Jameson Reed. Um, and then just, just like I said, this is more creative for me. Um, just random stuff. Um, Fox and Pip. I don't remember the shop owner for these. She actually sent this to me. So, and then this is from Sweet Deco. Sweet Deco Chic Design or something like that. I can't remember the name. And then that's also on our honeymoon. And then these are just more posted. So this is a flip through of what I am using right now. Like I said, this is more, this planner does not leave the house. Um, so it's more just detailing every single, you know, day, what I'm doing, cleaning and so forth. And then my Foxy Fix um, is my everyday carry, which goes with me and my purse. And like I said, it also has my cash envelope. So this is much more functional for me, but I love my Ballerina Lush because it does keep me um, on point with things I need to do in the house. And then it allows me to be creative as well with the bullet journaling that I do have in there. So I hope this inspires someone. If you've been trying to figure out which planner is going to work for you, or if you have multiple planners, you know, how do you incorporate them into your world? I hope this gave you some help or some insight. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope this helped. If you have questions, please don't hesitate to ask. Of course, I love, um, you know, com I love responding and reading all the comments and so forth. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I will talk with you guys later. Bye.